The rapidly changing global backdrop and unique market conditions continue to require regular updates to forecasts and projections. Our latest thoughts for interest rates, employment, property and economic growth. The Reserve Bank hike to 0.35% was slightly higher than our revised expectation of 15 basis points for May, brought forward thanks to even sharper increases to CPI and core inflation. The RBA no longer had the luxury of waiting for wages data later this month before kicking off the tightening cycle after CPI rose above 5% and core inflation well above their 2-3% target. So, again proving their independence from politics, the rate hike was timely and a direct response to the inflation data, and was in line with rate hikes building around the world. The US also set to hike rates again this week, but by half of a percent, double our increase. The RBA now forecasts that CPI will average 6% this year and core inflation almost 5%, before moderating back to 3% by 2024. So a series of a quarter of a percent rate hikes from here to around 2% by year end appear very likely. The inflation and energy shock and broad commodity price surges are still volatile and unpredictable in nature. But Australia, as an energy, resources and soft commodity exporter, should cope better with these conditions than many countries. And the RBA statement still included upbeat forecasts for GDP growth of over 4% this year and unemployment falling to 3.5% in line with our forecasts from last month. Jobs growth will be important to help our economy deal with higher interest rates and will assist with a soft landing for property prices. The latest RBA financial stability report explained logically why house prices may ease 10% over the next two years if rates rise by 2% and that scenario is on track but needs to be put in the context of 30 to 35% increases in values over the last few years. Similarly, consumer sentiment will be weighed down by the rate hikes, but with jobs growth and the rebooting of tourism and greater mobility, consumers are still likely to maintain spending, albeit with prices and interest rates on the rise. And lastly, stock markets are still in defensive mode trying to second guess just how high interest rates will head this year and next. But like the Aussie dollar, it won't be one-way traffic, even if Australia's economic outperformance does ultimately shine through, which is our base case scenario. And that's the market update from Bendigo Bank. <laughs>